long time and the video that I am posting today is about phenol and what are the tests of this functional group that you are supposed to do in CBSE class 12 practicals. The first thing that you need to understand is phenol is an organic compound which is colored. It's a colored liquid and it has a phenyl like smell or a carbolic odor is what we see but with the color you can identify. Secondly, it is highly corrosive. So please do not touch and handle it with care. For all organic compounds, you are first expected to do the physical test. So when I talk about phenol, its physical state is going to be a colored liquid. Second thing, you need to check for the solubility. When I talk about the solubility, if you add water to it and leave it for some time, you would see the lower end is separating, which means phenol is not soluble in water. And why is it not soluble? Because of the presence of the bulkier benzene ring. It has an OH, but the hydrogen bonding is not able to cover up the bulkier benzene ring, so it is not soluble. Whatever amount of it has been dissolved, the next thing that we need to do is response to pH. A pH paper is peach in color and when you put the pH paper into an aqueous solution of phenol and we observe the color change. The pH paper remains peach in color which matches with pH of in between somewhere in between 4 and 6 which clearly shows that it is acidic hence your phenol is said to be an acidic functional group moving to the chemical tests of phenol now we'll be doing three tests the first is the easiest of all where you are going to use neutral ferric chloride now why do we use the word neutral is because ferric chloride is a Lewis acid in water, an aqueous solution of ferric chloride is going to be acidic. So when you prepare the ferric chloride, during the preparation, a small amount of a base like ammonium hydroxide is added to neutralize the acidity of ferric chloride and to make it into a neutral ferric chloride. That is why we deliberately say it is neutral ferric chloride. So for testing it with neutral ferric chloride, take just a drop or two of your phenol to this add water and now you are supposed to add neutral ferric chloride. Now this is your phenol plus water the solution and this is your neutral ferric chloride. Have a close look. When you add neutral ferric chloride just add a drop of it from the sides of the test tube. Please do not add large excess and you observe a beautiful purple coloration of phenol due to the complex formation with neutral ferric chloride. That's your test number one. Moving to the second test. The second test is where we will be preparing phenolphthalene and then checking whether it's phenolphthalene or not. For that you again require your fresh test tube to which just add a drop or two of phenol in a dry test tube. To this add a few crystals of thalic anhydrite. Thalic anhydrite looks like this. See that the crystals move into phenol so that there is a reaction between them. You also need to add concentrated sulfuric acid. Please add bare minimum of concentrated sulfuric acid. I will give you the reason for it a little later. This is your sulfuric acid to be handled with care always. And this is the phenol plus thalic anhydride. Just a drop or two of concentrated sulfuric acid, not more. That is the sulfuric acid added. Now you need to warm the contents in a water bath. Organic compound heating is always done in a water bath. This is the water bath in which you will have to leave it for it to undergo the reaction so that it transforms into phenolphthalene where you are using phenol and 
phthalic anhydride and sulfuric acid. After 5 minutes or so with strong boiling water you will find this turning red and this is the liquid which is formed which is your phenolphthalene. Now how do I check whether it is phenolphthalene or not? You very well know that phenolphthalene gives you a pink color in NaOH. So in a fresh test tube add some sodium hydroxide. And then add a drop of phenolphthalene or you may use a glass rod to check for phenolphthalene. So I am just putting my glass rod into phenolphthalene that is the indicator and now I will be adding this phenolphthalene into the NaOH solution that I just took. Can you see the pink color formation? Which clearly shows that it has transformed into phenolphthalein. Okay? You can also add a drop of phenolphthalein to it, but if you have used a large amount of sulfuric acid, you may not get it. So if you have controlled sulfuric acid by using, by preparing the phenolphthalein, then it will not be able to neutralize it and you will get your pink colored in phenolphthalein. When you add this phenolphthalein, it is drying up. So I'll just again take it into the glass rod and put it in the mix. And you can see it is turning deeper pink because of phenolphthalein. So that is the second test where you prepare phenolphthalein and transform NaOH into pink color due to the phenolphthalein formed from phenol. Going to the last chemical test of phenol which is known as the Lieberman's nitroso test. In this test, you will need a dry test tube. To this dry test tube, add a drop or two of phenol. Add sodium nitrite. Pinch, these are crystals. Add sulfuric acid, a few drops. and the reaction starts. You can heat it for some time for the reaction to complete in a water bath. Leave it for 5 minutes or so so that the reaction gets completed. 5 minutes of heating, you can remove it assuming that the reaction is complete. Now, this tarry kind of mass, you need to add it to water. My advice is that you can take water in a test tube with the help of a glass rod take a small amount of this tari mass and introduce it to water just take a small amount and observe the color change it should give you a wine red coloration which it is okay that's the wine red coloration observed when you add a small amount of this compound that is prepared on adding sodium nitrite to phenol and sulfuric acid. Now after this wine red coloration, you need to add a base to it. The base that I am adding is NaOH and you need to observe the color change. Please excuse the sound. That's NaOH and I am going to add it. Please observe the color change. For a better view, it for you so that you get a better color this to the wine red when you add a base you observe a color change and it goes towards bluish green color and that's the test for phenol the Liberman's test so for phenol you have got three tests one with neutral ferric chloride turns violet second to prepare phenolphthalein which will give you a pink color in NaOH and lastly to prepare the reaction with sodium nitride that is the Liberman's nitroso test and the color changes from white red to green or blue. It will be darker if you add more amount of sulfuric acid otherwise the color change is pretty good. From white red it is, goes to a blue tone like this. Normally this is what we observe. These are the color changes that are observed when you do the Liberman's nitroso test which is a blue and a white red. Fine. 
hope i have cleared your doubts on and all practicals do well in your practicals all the best stay happy bye